The News 12 Sports Rush rolling on and talking about one of the early season surprise teams in Suffolk County. West Babylon off to a 2-0 start. The Eagles beat East Islip in overtime yesterday. Tonight, they're here in the Sports Rush studio. Say hello to running back Reggie Robinson, quarterback Clifton Mojado, and defensive back Mike Richardson. And first of all, guys, congratulations on a 2-0 start. How's it feel? Feels great. I said it's surprising. Is it? <laughs> it's definitely surprising. Look at you, big running back out there. What's the advantage to being a running back? How big are you, first of all? About six foot, 240 pounds. Really, I couldn't get that big if I tried. <laughs> What's it like being out there, having that size advantage for you? I mean, it's, you know, some people would call it uh, unfair from the other team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would call it me just being stronger than you, working out every day, uh, having a, you know, small muscle and, you know, I just control I control my body and what I do with my body on the field results in uh, wins and injuries. Speaking of wins, a big one this weekend over East Islip in overtime. One of you guys called him the Big EI. Did it feel like you were playing this big superpower team? I didn't really think of it like that. I just came in confident. But you're a junior. You don't know any better. First year starter over here. <laughs> Talk about your first game. This was two weeks ago now. Mm -hmm. Your first game on varsity the night before. Could the you sleep? Before? No. Woke up at 4 in the morning. Stayed up. Stayed Stay up the whole time. What'd you do? Nothing. One of our plays. I wrote my plays down in the playbook. One of our plays. So no video games. No video games. No Facebook. No Facebook. No Twitter. Just playbook no Twitter, the whole time. Playbook. Hold that. How helpful is it having these guys here, a couple seniors, to kind of lean on this year? It boosts my confidence a lot because I know what they're capable of. Off to a great start. By the way, does any junior on your team have a better beard than Clifton? <laughs> um, no, nah, I don't think so. It's pretty sharp. I like it. I like it. Hey, Mike, for you, is this an early statement for West Babylon to beat East Islip on the road at homecoming? Yeah, we finally get to show people that we the real deal this year because nobody expected this from us. Do you guys feel like you were kind of overlooked? Newfield had a great season last year. Of course, there's Bellport out there everybody likes to talk about, but it seems like last year, maybe even this year, nobody's still talking about you guys. Yeah, we, I, don't, I don't have a room but getting respect, and I don't really care about getting respect. When we, got, when we get out on the field, we do our thing, so it don't really bother me. How nice is it to be on the field this season for you? Tell everyone about the injury last year and what it was like sitting out <coughs> watching this team last year. Well... You know, I, I I got hurt, but it was only like ankle injuries. But this year, I'm healthy and, and ready to play. What do you see out of this kid that makes him a good quarterback? You know, he's uh, he's very calm and uh, very elusive, and he keeps a straight head. And uh, when tough situations, you know, he knows exactly what to do to pull us out of them. What's the secret for you guys? Big running back like you is, is it a ground and pound team? And literally pound? I can't get over how big you are. You should be 17. Mighty 20. Oh, <laughs> give me one of these. Wow. Yeah. Rip my suit if I do that. Is it ground and pound though? Is that the, the style yeah. out there? No, nah, we just, it's just everything. It's everything. So our defense mean. is ground and pound. What makes you say that? Because you don't hear that term usually on defense. No, it's, our defense is too short. Yeah, and our offense too fast. Well, that's a good DB of, over here, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of playmakers on defense. Coach isn't here tonight, but how much does the 2 0 start you think mean to him? Uh, he, he, he's loving it. I've never seen him smile for months. I've never seen him What's the next step for all you guys? I know it's still early in the high school and you want to win league championship and maybe get to the LIC, but we're you thinking ahead maybe the next year? You got one more year yeah. on varsity, but for you guys? Well, I'm just, me and him are probably just, you know, Worrying about what we're going to do for college and what college we're going to commit to. And, uh, you know, hopefully win start jobs at that college as well as get a good education. Okay, let's play, let's play the game, Dream Maker. You can go to any college uh -huh. right now. Realistically, where you'd like to go? Where would you like to go? Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech will be hokey. Frank Beaver and all those guys. Why Tech? Because it's just a team that I've been watching since I was little and, um, I just love everything about their program. It's just, it's just great over there. It looks, I, I love the way their team is operating. I love the offense, the defense. It's just somewhere I wish I could really go. All right, good luck. What about you, Mike? Um, probably all of them. I always just wanted to go there. You want to wear those wacky uniforms, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, real quick, show everyone the secret handshake, too. Where it's going to be unveiled here. Three-way, three-way, real quick. Three-way, three-way. Three Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> no, no, we're too cool. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, we're going to go three and all. 
Good luck, guys. Go to 3 0 this week. Get Hot Pocket home right Friday night. That's yeah. right. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Maybe we'll see you at the championship time. All right, everyone. More of the Sports Rush coming up in three minutes. Stay with us. Well, News 12 Long Island Sports. That's it.